it's me, Shorty. Back with more Shorty Shorts. Haha. <laughs> Interesting news, guys. Interesting news. Let's go to Rotten Tomatoes. And we go to the Shazam page. Let's see what these knuckleheads at Rotten Tomatoes are saying. Probably give it a rotten score. Probably give it... What the hell? 94%. Shit. Warner Brothers are going to go out of business, paying all these critics for good reviews. I've never seen anything like it, guys. Fresh reviews all round. For a DC movie... Oh, wait a minute. It has fun moments, but was unnecessarily violent for the tone they were going for. Uh... Let's see who else gave it a rotten review. Lightning doesn't even strike once in Shazam. Uh... Never mind all that. Let's see what the top critics are saying. Better be worth it. All this money that Warner Brothers paid. The film doesn't remotely feel assembled to a franchise building template. Rather, it's jauntily at ease doing its own thing throughout, which is by turns infectiously silly and unexpectedly warm hearted. Den of Geek, huh? They said. It's a gloriously successful hybrid of Big Antwon Fisher and Spider-Man, with the best part of Green Lantern thrown in for good measure, proving that Aquaman and Wonder Woman were no flukes. In the vein of Gremlins, Shazam is an edgy family movie that pushes the edge of the envelope in a very fun and exciting way. Mark Strong's villain is MVP. Oh, I love it. Shazam has endless heart and soul with a pitch-perfect cast who earn our love and support early on, and a childlike sense of awe and wonder that feel like 1980s-era Steven Spielberg filmmaking. The heart is power to depict on screen as the wisdom of Solomon, but Shazam makes clever decisions, mixing middle school snark with disarming sweetness. So click, like cause you know one right, let me know in the comments below. If you care, then you can share. And then you smash that mother subscribe button. So until next time, I knucklehead. I'm Shorty, and you're not. Ta ta. Mm -hmm.